Two minute drill time Friday morning. It's Jim Monahan along with Chris Swendeman here at 105.5 WDHA on the morning show. Swendeman, the burning issue on a Friday morning. Aaron Rodgers not in Jet Mini Camp. Big deal or nothing to worry about. Your thoughts? No one cares. <laughs> it's that simple. The guy's a 20 year veteran almost. He knows how to get in shape for the season. If he wanted to miss. A couple of practices mandatory. He's going to get fined. It's not it. They said it's unexcused, you know, even though he said he told them about it. And listen, move on. Could they have handled it better from a PR standpoint? Absolutely. I think Salah is a disaster. The more you let him talk, the more the Jets get screwed, honestly. But this is much ado about nothing. It's the offseason. They're looking for a story. And Rodgers is the biggest thing in New York. So there's your story. They're going to make something out of nothing. And this is exactly what it is. Nothing. Uh, and if the Jets start the season three and one, no one will even remember this. Meanwhile, we're about six weeks away from the Major League Baseball trade deadline. And Pete Alonzo's name is coming up again and again and again. And one of the teams is the Yankees. That's a very interesting scenario because they need a first baseman. They do. Rizzo is shot um, as much as I hate to say it. Cause I always loved him as a ball player, but uh, Rizzo's done and they need a first baseman, but you know who else needs a first baseman, Jim, that could give them a real run for their money for a trade wise uh, team. And also in the AL Houston, they need a first baseman. So what happens there now? Does that drive the price up and make uncle Steve make the move? That would be very interesting to see come trade deadline. The other thing I'm thinking of now is Juan Soto, of course. Both Soto and Alonzo are Boris clients. I think Boris might not be able to get as much money as he wants for Alonzo. You think about what happened to some of the Boris clients last year. But Soto, I mean, this is a generational player. He's 26 years old. He could very well break the bank. And if the Mets end up trading Alonzo, this could be exactly the kind of guy they go after. And you think about it, Chris, Soto is just another superstar in the Yankees. Granted, a big, big superstar, but just another one. On the Mets, he'd be the guy. And if that's important to him, I think the Mets are a great fit. I think the only thing, I, and I agree with you, I think the only thing that would bring Soto uh, to City Field is his ego. If he wants to be, as you say, the guy, you go to City Field. You become the poster boy for everything in Queens. You are the face of the franchise. He stays in the Bronx. He's got a lot better shot of winning. He's gonna, but he's gonna be shoulder to shoulder with that guy number ninety nine because it's his team, and exactly. it'll always be his team. It, it, it doesn't matter if Soto gets a bigger contract than Judge. He, it's gonna be Judge's team. He's the captain. They go as ninety nine goes. He's going to be a great cog in it, but City Field is where you go if you want to be the guy, as we, as we said. You've got Red Sox and Yankees this weekend, by the way. We're finishing up the Stanley Cup final. NBA finals are going to wrap up as well. Swend them in a great sports weekend ahead of us. We'll talk next Friday. You got it. Enjoy all the games this weekend. Catch you next week.